How's it going everyone? In today's English pronunciation lesson, we're going to take a little look at the R sound. This is a long vowel sound. Technically it's called the open back unrounded vowel. So we make the sound by opening our mouths, dropping the jaw down a little bit, and keeping the back of the tongue down. At the same time, we blow out a long pulse of air. So, ah. Your turn now. Ah. 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 Now we can find the sound spelt in several different ways. Most commonly, we probably find it as an AR in words like farm and argue and remark. The next most common way is probably with just the single A, so words like father and bath and karate. Another way you can find it is with an AL in words like palm or almond. There are a few spelling anomalies, as we might say. In the word heart, you can find it as an E-A-R and even O-U-R, like some people pronounce our, like R. Now in received pronunciation, which is basically standard British English, if a word ends with an R sound and the next word begins with a vowel, when we're talking quickly, you'll often hear a R sound, an alveolar approximant inserted between the two words. If you don't know what I mean by this, listen carefully to these sentences. A star is born, a jar of honey, the llama in the field. Can you hear it? So if you are learning British English, this is generally a good thing to start doing as it will make you sound more fluent in your speech. Okay? So that's all for this lesson. All we need to do now is practice. The jar is full of marmalade. I saw Mr. Palmer the farmer down at the market with his charming pet llama. After the barn dance, the participants all had a photograph taken with their partners. So that's all for now. If you want to check out another video on pronunciation, I've left one right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.